Hi, this is Tom Bradley, and I want to spend a few minutes with you today and talk about the nutritional label that you see on the foods that you eat. And particularly today, we're talking about the snacks, those things that we grab on the fly and add to our daily caloric intake that we don't always account for. And that's really important because if you were honest and uh, tabbing that up each day, I think you'd find there's a whole lot more there than you realize. But let's look at this label. Now, we're not going to break it down line by line. It's not going to be that type of a monotonous deal. We're just going to talk about three key factors here. The first one I want you to look at at the very top of the label, it says serving size and servings per container. This is actually where we, where we first really get into trouble with these snacks, is what is the serving size? In this case, it's showing a cup. Now, the one I really would like to point out is soft drinks, which are the serving size is eight ounces. So in this case, it's a cup, two servings per container. When's the last time you bought an eight ounce soft drink? You didn't. Most of them are 16 or higher. In fact, 16s are starting to get hard to find. Most now are 20, 22, 24 ounces. So whatever that number is, in this case, it's 280 calories. If you grab this off the shelf and ate the whole box, whatever it is, you're not eating 280 calories. You're eating 560 calories. So that's the first stumbling block. Make sure you look at that label and realize how many servings are in that uh, container. The next thing I want you to look at is uh, where it says calories 280 and then if you look slightly to the right it says calories from fat 120. So in this particular case almost half of the calories are coming from fat. That's a really lousy ratio of fat to overall calories. You want to keep that for a snack way below 30%, way below 25% actually. Of the 280 calories are coming from fat so that makes it a kind of crummy uh, snack choice. The third thing I want you to look at when you're grabbing a snack is protein. If you look down, uh, slide down a little bit, you'll see where it says protein 5 grams. So look for snacks that have at least 10 grams of protein. For example, a yogurt cup will have 9 to 10 grams. That's a great snack. You want to promote healthy lean muscle and by feeding it protein, that's what happens. So those are the three things I want you to focus on when you're thinking of grabbing a snack and you're trying to make sure that you're making a healthy choice, look at the serving size and servings per container and realize that if you're going to sit there and eat the whole thing, it's the number of calories multiplied by the number of servings. Secondly, I want you to make sure that you keep your fat way down on your meals and especially on your snacks. So uh, look at that ratio of fat to calories. And then finally, look for a good snack that's got a high protein content. Now, there's other things to consider, but today we're just talking about those three. So take advantage of these labels. It's rare that the government gets involved in our lives and it comes out good, but this is one of those cases. These labels are very helpful, and they'll help you come up with great, uh, great snack choices. Now, you want to join my um, Easy Diet Coach newsletter so I can give you more tips like this, more training, and, of course, uh, get together, and, and I'll give you some one-on-one -on -one help to uh, reach your goals. So it's easydietcoach.com. You want to jump in there and subscribe to that newsletter. And I also encourage you to visit my blog, bvhgnutrition.com. And I look forward to getting to know you. This is Tom Bradley, the Easy Diet Coach.